in terms of humanizing him, because obviously, uh, you know, from your documentary before Greg and everything else, how do you then take the story further and bring that that humanity to to him, even though he's accomplished so much and people might seem as a figurehead otherwise? Well, for me, I mean, it was the it was his humanity and his complexity that drew um, me to this character, Sergio Vera de Mello. Probably saw more war and human suffering than anybody of his generation, and yet remained um, an optimist. Um, saw the world very clearly, but ironically, struggled to see himself mm-hmm. clearly and those be be authentic with those closest to him, his family and those he loved, and and it was that kind of that, that dilemma that he faced internally that drew me to him as a, as a character. What about you for, for you, uh, Wagner? Uh, yeah, abs- I mean, it, I was thinking that when I, when I was uh, uh, answering this, uh, this very same question about Pablo Escobar and, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, and it's, uh, it's interesting because nor Pablo, uh, Pablo was not a monster and, and Sergio was not a saint. You know, so both of them w- were were real people. With uh, with uh, you know, Sergio was a guy who was trying to save the world, but at the same time had a very <clears throat> complicated and chaotic personal life. Couldn't spend time with his family and with his kids, and mm. kind of didn't know exactly what he wanted in terms of uh, of um, of intimacy. It was very difficult to go to for people to go to get close. To who he really was, uh, so I think that was a very he was a very complex uh, uh, guy, and I think that what we should we, we try to avoid all the time was to portray him to to make to make him like some sort of a superhero or or anything like that. Right, and that's often the case with with a lot of you know docudramas, especially. So I'm curious too. Then you know how much research do you do in terms of his mannerisms or other things or how much are you basing it more off of just his life in general? It's interesting because when I watch the film, and I, I've, I've, some of my friends go like, "Dude, you're not, you you you're kind of speaking like Sergio, and the way he opens his eyes when he speaks." And I I this it's interesting because I never try the the worst thing that I could do is to try to imitate him. So what I <clears throat> do when I play like a. a so-called real characters or characters based on, 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 on people that really existed is I, I try to learn as much as I can about the character <clears throat> to watch as much. And there is a lot of videos and reports and of course, Greg's documentary and things about surgery. So I do it like, so when I'm, when I fed myself of that thing, I forget about all of that and create my own version of the character. Mm. So that's how it, so the, all, all these uh, things that these physical things that you see are going to come from our more organic place than, than, than the imitation. Mm. Well, I'm curious for both of you, what do you hope audiences take away from this? Because I mean, there's obviously a very personal side of this and yet there's also the political side as well. What are you hoping that the people pick up on? Uh, for me, it's always been a, a film about empathy and uh, and hope, and uh, I think for, you know we need that in the world right now. You know, um, on a political level, you know, there's a, we're really all seeing this lack of global leadership um, in the time of true world crisis. If Sergio was alive, he'd be in the thick of it all right now. But I really think it's on a deeper level. It's about it's about how we see each other and uh, and how we see ourselves. But we're at a time now where we're when we're seeing each other as the other, um, as opposed to or as part of our tribe, as opposed to being empathetic to people's differences and and embracing those, and then trying to find solutions uh, that that uh, respect the dignity of of all people. What about you, Wagner? I pretty much think this is a film about empathy, and I think that it's interesting how a film is a uh, is a mix of what uh, what uh, what people that made the film wanted to say, with what the audience, with the specific audience of a time, uh, how yeah. they are seeing the film. So if we had released this film under like five years ago, it would have been another film. Releasing this film 
now under the coronavirus crisis, under you know <clears throat> Trump's administration or Bolsonaro's administration in Brazil, and I think that it 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 will it will be read uh, differently. Uh, I think that the coronavirus crisis are, is showing us a, a a strong lack of leadership, and of and and most of that. When Greg says that this is a film about empathy, I couldn't agree more. And I think that this is a value that it's completely forgotten in the in, in, in the leaders uh, of the world nowadays. And this is something that Sergio had uh, probably his biggest quality. He was a man who could see people as people, not as statistics, not as uh, numbers. And I think that this uh, at this specific moment in history this is going to be a very uh, it's this is a very beautiful example thank you both very much i really enjoyed the film thank, thank you for the time. thank you so thank much you. man yeah. take care